What's up guys, Sam, I'm back with a quick little video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the brand new Jada Toys Nano Hollywood Rides Batman Return Vehicles and the Batman, or I'm sorry, the Batman, the Back to the Future Trilogy Vehicles. I'm not gonna open these, I actually just wanna show these to you. The reason why I don't wanna open them is because I think I would lose them if I open these and the packaging themselves is just a really nice display piece. Like I can peg this on a wall with the thumbtack and it just looks nice and it displays all of the vehicles and it has the the uh, title right there for each movie. So if you look here, we have the DeLorean from, or Time Machine, but it is the DeLorean from Back to Future Part 1. You can see there's not a whole lot of detail in the vehicles and I'm pretty sure the wheels move. I'm not sure, I'm assuming this is die cast. Okay, this is right here, this is die cast series, so it is die cast. Um, you have the DeLorean from Back to Future 2. So you can see the differences in there. It's got the blue, the blue detailing. And then you have the one from part three. So you can obviously see the big changes from the third one, especially in the wheels. But you can see the front right there. Not a whole lot of detail. Uh, would have been cool if they added some paint maybe on the back and maybe the license plate if they could. I mean, I know this is very small little figures or vehicles, but I'm pretty sure they could have done it. I'm not sure if the, the, the doors open. It doesn't look like they do. And I wish they would have come with some kind of a display stand. That's the reason, that's mainly the reason why I wanted to keep it in this, in the packaging. Because I like the presentation that this gives. So you have the uh, Back to the Future here. You have the back of the DeLorean, the lightning effect, out of time. And you, see, you can see it says Collector's Diecast Series. And then you have November 5th, 1955. And October 21st, 2015. Which is the the time travels, the uh, events where where Marty goes to the uh, different time, the time, oh my God, I can't even speak right, which is the years that Marty travels to in the first movie and the second movie and the first and the second movie again, but they didn't have, they don't have the third one on here. They don't have the time stamp for the third movie, but this is actually really cool. So if you look at the back of the packaging, you have the DeLorean there from Back to the Future Part 2. And then, yeah, just that's about it. I mean, this is really cool. These are priced at about, I think, five or six dollars, which isn't bad for three little nano vehicles that are die cast. But again, it would have been cool if they came with some kind of a display piece. I don't see like a base or anything because to display the DeLorean that's that's obviously flying, they should have had some kind of a clear display. But that's the main reason why I'm keeping this in the package to display like that. Because again, the presentation is very nice. So let's move that one aside. And I did not know they had one for Batman Returns. And I love the packaging on this one. So you have the Batman emblem here with the snow effect. Again, it says collector's die cast. You have the Batman logo right there from the movie. These are cool vehicles. So you have the Batmobile from the film. Now, it would have been awesome if they had the uh, Bat Missile or the Bat Ski Boat. Now, this one does look like it has a little bit more paint apps to it. So you can see they did add the lights. And a lot of detailing went in this. Look at that. And in the back, you can see they even painted the lights as well. I don't know why they didn't do that with the DeLorean. And then you have the penguin duck. That is pretty cool. I actually own one. And it's the one that Hot Wheels came out with. But you can probably still find in stores right now. I need to see which one is more movie accurate. I don't know which one is as far as the paint apps go. It's probably going to be the Hot Wheels one. But look at the, let's see the back side of this. Yeah, they got different designs, so I got to see which one it is, which one is more movie accurate. But that's cool that they added the penguin duck. I think that's very awesome. And then you have the penguin ride. This is really cool. Now, if you guys don't remember or don't know what this is from, this is when the penguin is in his trailer and he has a little uh, Batmobile ride. That's how he controls the Batmobile. So if you guys remember that scene, and you can see this even has some cool detail too and some paint apps as well. And there's the front. That's pretty awesome. This was when I looked at this, when I picked it up, I was like, what is this? And then I didn't realize it until I got home and I was like, oh, it's the it's the ride that he uses to control the Batmobile. But this is honestly great little pieces from oh, there's images on the back. So you can see all three vehicles. I don't know why the Back to the Future one didn't have that on the back of them. It just shows the flying DeLorean. But again, you can see this one. They didn't add a whole lot of paint apps on this one. But still pretty cool. I think these are definite pickups. Um, again, I wanted to open them, but I honestly think I would lose these. And plus, I just I think I'm going to hang these on the wall. I think they just look great the way they are. Again, the presentation on these is very, very nice. So they're really cool display pieces just to have like that. But if you guys have picked this up, let me know any details on the vehicles themselves. The doors open. Is the canopy open for the Batmobile? Let me know. And let me know your thoughts. Is it a pickup? 
Is it a pass? What vehicles would you have liked them to make? Let me know down below. Well, subscribe.